Each melody is unique per se, but all of them are composed of the same set of building blocks, the seven notes, just played in different order. The sequence of the notes along the score encodes a specific melody. The melodies of nature are proteins, where different sequences of the same set of building blocks, the amino acids, give rise to different three-dimensional folded structures. Proteins are very complex systems, and the understanding of the mechanism behind their unique folding is still one of the most significant challenges in science. There are many different approaches to understand protein folding. Not all phenomena can be observed experimentally, so computational models have become increasingly important in the last decades. Most of the computational models, such as full atomistic ones, try to represent proteins as close as possible to nature. However, in this way, it is not possible to have a broad overview of the key ingredients that makes proteins so special. Is this complexity necessary? Can we narrow down from the complexity of nature to few simple key ingredients that allow proteins to fold? We propose that coarse grain models that are simplified protein models can be used to understand the key ingredients of the process. Coarse graining is a way to understand what makes possible to encode a 3D structure information into a one-dimensional sequence of building blocks. This process wasn't easy. The simplified model requires a fine-tuning of the parameters on real proteins. That took seven years. Our work made it possible to create a model that is computationally able to fold artificial protein sequences in a specific target structure. The only essential ingredients are a spherical interaction that is characteristic of each building block and a directional interaction that is the same to all building blocks. When I started on my own to research in this topic in 2010, I had the idea that once understood the primary ingredients from nature, I could apply the same components for designing artificial materials. In proteins, the directional interactions are two per building blocks and in a specific geometry. I changed the set of spherical interaction and placed the directional one in different geometries and for, with different numbers per building blocks. In this way, one can obtain an entirely new set of target structure not existing in nature and could have applications at different landscapes, for instance to make catalyzers or drug carriers. Nature plays the melodies of proteins where the notes are the 20 amino acids. If nature can play all these melodies of life with a single set of notes, imagine which materials could one play with new alien notes.